Poor old Tommy Robinson is in the news again, and I have to feel sorry for him, of course I do, because it's not nice when your child comes up to you with an allegation of a sexual assault against them. But I'm afraid Tommy Robinson just gets it wrong, and his Achilles heel, I'm afraid to say, is his inability to control himself. According to his YouTube video, his daughter went up to him and told him what had happened, all well and good, any father would question what had happened and then say, well, point them out, which she did. He then went up to them and by all accounts, and that's his own account, the guy admitted it. That's the moment to say, what's your name? Are you staying here? And then go and call the police. Not take matters into your own hands and then decide you're going to effect either a citizen's arrest or to detain the guy. Clearly the guy then recognized whose daughter it was and thought, I gotta get out of here. Tommy Robinson shouldn't have done that. And I'm afraid anybody who thinks he should doesn't really understand the way the law works. It's pretty harsh. The other criticism is why was uh, he arrested and not the alleged perpetrator? Very simply, the police are not going to arrest somebody before they have achieved the best evidence. Now, the best evidence against Tommy Robinson is an injury with witnesses. The best evidence against the perpetrator is a video evidence of the child giving her version of events. That has to be done in a special video suite with a social worker, not a parent present. So the first report to the police would have been done and was being done by the mother and the child as the police were arresting Tommy Robinson. So he knew that they were investigating the guy. So when the child has done her ABE, that is the court evidence and that is the evidence in chief used at the trial. I'm afraid the MSM never report these cases because they're not allowed to. They're not allowed to identify any child in the media, let alone facts relating to a criminal offence. This could seriously prejudice the trial, the fact that Tommy Robinson has shared the facts on social media. It's not a story about him, it is a story about an eight-year-old and it could have been sabotaged by her own father. Wonder what his origin was. Wonder what his religion was. I'm sure that will all come out in the wash. Now, I haven't spoken to Tommy, so I know nothing about it more than you will know about on the video that he's just put out. But I can guess. Over. She said him, daddy. She pointed at a man. It was an Asian male. Um, to be honest, I, I doubt, I, I, I don't think that he was is called Asian. I, I don't think that he was is called Asian. I can guess what his background was. And I'd love to know, I'd love to know the religious and ethnic background of the police officer. But I put this to you. If that was a Muslim police officer arresting Tommy Amman, possibly, we don't know, possibly by a Muslim man. She's walked me over. She said, him, daddy. She pointed at a man. It was an Asian male. Um, to be honest, I, I doubt, I, I don't think that he is. That was called Asian.